Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, and welcome back to part 5 of Puzzle and Dragons on the Nintendo 3DS. Here we are continuing on from where we last left off, and I actually did remember we need to go and evolve one of our monsters. I mean, we don't have to, but it's probably wise to. I'm not sure if we actually can, but we're going to go and check out to see for ourselves. So, in the Z Lab is where you can actually get all this stuff done. You can hatch your eggs here, you can evolve your monsters. That's all we've been introduced to so far. I'm pretty sure there's going to be other stuff, as there are other machines scattered around this place. But we'll do this one. To, uh, start things off here. So I am Hera, the Monster Evolver, launching evolution protocols now. With my help, we can use chips to evolve monsters. Do you want to proceed? Yes, we do. So we actually just hatched a new monster, which was a water type, and it was a mega, it was like a mega hatch, and it gave us a level 10 creature, which is right here. We can actually evolve any of these four, except for our leader. For some reason, we can't evolve this monster. So I guess we'll go with the next one which is the Zabgon and oh do you know what I think we need the actual um yeah what I was talking about we need the the right items to be able to hatch your monsters so we evolved this one and yes I think we're ready to go I'm not sure how much this is going to change for our monster but um it should be interesting to see what this does it's definitely going to make it stronger of course but I'm not really sure um what else it's going to do but touch the chips on the right then drag them into the picture on the left oh so you actually got to feel like the puzzle this is kind of cool this is pretty cool, so I think we do have... Wait, do we have all the pieces? I think we do. Actually, no, we don't. We're missing the one... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we do have all the pieces. Thank goodness. And yes, it definitely does change the look. We have a rare monster here. This is actually one of our starting monsters, so... I'm not sure how rare it is, but... It has evolved from the Zabgon into the Zableon. Alright, cool. You know, it's going to be weird getting used to all these names because I'm still trying to get used to all the Pokemon names, so it's going to be a little bit tricky for me. We also can evolve another two monsters. We're going to go with this one as we've had it for longer. And, um, Woodsy Chip. Yeah, we've got all the chips for this one, so I guess we know what to do now. We'll just match all the pieces. Same pieces once again. <laughs> and there we go. So, yeah, this game did release on the 8th of May. It does come out on, the, I believe it's the 22nd of May in the, in the United States. So, uh, not long to go now. Also, the cool thing is, the new Kirby game on the Wii U actually released today. I think it's been out for a while now in the US, but it finally released the same day as this game in the UK. So, it's definitely one I'm going to be investing in pretty soon. I'm not going to get it straight away on its release day, because I'm going to be a little bit busy with this game. But I definitely will get it pretty soon. So, only one piece here to match this uh, bubbly. And there we go. This guy looks super weird. I don't know what he reminds me of, but... I don't know, he doesn't really look like he's going to be too strong, but he's actually a rare monster. And now he is looking exactly the same, but he's a mega a mega bubbly now. I'm not even sure what changed in his appearance there, but at least he's evolved, at least he's stronger. And I think that should be all for now. We still need to, we still need to get the items to evolve our fire monster. But thank you for using this terminal. Please come again. So uh, yeah, I guess we're done there. Uh, we do have a few side quests, side quests open. But for now, we're going to go and continue on with the main story. Here we have Syrup following us behind, he's kind of like a Pikachu to Pokemon for us and he does actually help us in battle but he does help us on our journey. So select your de destination, we'll go back to here and um, yes the Forest of Echoes is where we need to go. A forest that lies to the east of the Kunin Mountains, the, the, con the, Kun the Kunin Mountains? <laughs> Mysterious tree spirits are said to make their home here. Alright, so the Path of Sprites. Okay, I'm actually thinking to change my lead and now we've got a new evolved monster. It would be a little bit unfair, but um, hey, your, your strongest character has got to be your leader. We'll go with our helper here. Uh, we've got Maxi, and we've got a few helpers here. I'm not really sure where they, where they come from, but uh, a lot of them are stronger than what we currently have. Alright, I think we're good. Yes, we are. So if you guys... Okay, wait. Greetings to you, monkey. This guy looks... Creepy, the Enigma. It would be dreadful etiquette to use your name and not offer my own. I am Enigma. Huh? How does this geezer know you? <laughs> I know you as well. Oh yes indeed I do, Syrup. You know my name too? How the heck are you doing that? Can you read minds or something? Now that we're done with introductions, here's a question for you, monkey. What is that Dragon Tamer needs in order to become powerful? Alright, what is it that a Dragon Tamer needs in order to become powerful? Um, I don't even know. I'm a beginner Dragon Tamer, so I can't really answer that 
But uh, I guess we will have to give some sort of answer, so... I'll go with courage? Is that right? Courage? What a tantalizing answer. But does courage lead to power? Or is courage just putting a pretty face on recklessness? I'm sorry to say that I don't appreciate those who won prize courage. Who prize courage. But I do prize those like you. <laughs> and I prize the tantalizing answer as well. So allow me to reward you with the D energy. Oh wow, 10,000 D volts. What the? What are we going to do with that? Whoever you do it, monkey, I'd like to see you grow powerful. A dragon tamer must have power to cause change. Change whether for better or for worse. I must admit that I have very high hopes of you. Oh yes, you will be powerful. You will help change things. Heh, <laughs> that bloke was pretty mysterious. Nice thing to give us something though. Alright, let's keep going. So with those 10,000 default defaults that may actually be what we will be using it as money, I'm not entirely sure, but if, if I had to guess, that would be my guess. So uh, yes, we're back into the game, so I guess we'll start things. We'll match you and then we'll slip you inside for a nice little double combo. And because we matched a Z orb of, of the element blue, that's going to be a super effective against the element of fire, of course. So it kind of works like Pokemon here. And we just got the flame chip, which does look like an item to evolve our fire beast. Okay. Yeah, this one does look slightly more tricky. Um... Oh god, I panicked a little there. I had a good combo in mind, but it never actually worked out the way I planned it. But we did take down the majority of the enemies. Oh god, he's going for an orb change. Oh, he's changing everything towards him because he's going to be resistant to that, but never mind. Um, he's got like little health now, so whatever we do is pretty much going to seal the victory for us. And... Yeah, with, with a 6, 7, 9, 10! Ten. 10 hit combo, that's definitely going to be enough, so it looks like his, his strategy did not work out for him. And it looks like we actually gained another puzzle piece there. Two puzzle pieces, in fact. And experience, so if you don't know, you actually level up your monsters here. For some reason, our grass monster is not beside us right now. That's kind of weird. Did I, not, did I not assign him to the team or something? And I don't even think I can change that right now. Uh, we'll go into our menu, monster box. This is kind of weird. I don't really want to leave him out. Right, there must be a reason for this because I definitely don't remember switching him out. But never mind, I guess we're doing pretty well so far. So we also have another... Okay, this one's going to be a little bit tricky. Um... Yeah, the main thing we want to just match the blue ones because it's going to be super effective. Plus there were two Z orbs there which is definitely going to be enough. And there we go. See, I was actually thinking about... Um doing a couple episodes of the Super Mario Bros version just to show you guys how that one's going to be but I definitely will continue on with this one as this is kind of like the key part of this game uh, let's see I literally had no idea what to do there alright that wasn't too bad so yeah I probably will record some of that um, very very soon so keep an eye out for that I'm just going to focus on this game and Pokemon Shuffle and then have like a few unboxing videos on the side as well um, for those of you that follow me on my YouTube channel. So I don't think I'll be playing too many other games. I will like throw in a few um, other gameplay videos of like my online matches on Evolve and stuff like that. But the majority of stuff will be mainly focused on this game and Pokemon Shuffle so hopefully you guys are excited for that. And let's see. Um Okay, we've only got one beast to take down, so I guess it doesn't really matter uh, what we do here. But I'm going to try and do something slightly tactical. We'll gain a bit of our health points back, and we'll throw in a double attack, which should be enough. And it is. Yeah, so far the game's actually started pretty easy. But uh, it's actually quite interesting. I do love how it's got a story mode here. Ooh, a versus battle. This looks unique. Okay, it has some sort of like weird symbol. Suggesting that something important was gonna happen here, but it does look exactly the same. Maybe it's just oh, I don't know what it is, but we do have some enemies of every element, so Okay, line of five. Well that worked out really sweet. 
Yes! And two puzzle pieces. Yeah, funny thing is this morning I actually woke up... Um, well, I thought I woke up at, at around 7. Actually, my clock... I still haven't even changed my clock. My clock says quarter to 6 um, in the morning right now. I woke up thinking it was super early, so I actually went back to sleep. And when I woke up, my clock was exactly the same as it was um, when I originally woke up. And then I looked at my phone and the time was like cool past 11. I woke up super late and I actually missed my delivery this morning because I was expecting um, some Pokemon cards and Pokemon stuff and folders and stuff like that. Because a new Pokemon booster packs just released and I um, purchased a booster box and a few other extra items. I missed out and I actually go to the sorting office to pick up my package and oh, it was just such a drag, it was just a huge waste of a morning all because my clock battery ran out and I still need to actually change that because it's kind of confused me on what the time actually is. But anyway, truth or lies, affection or love, these are questions we will we all face. But the cruelest riddle of all is... Smooth peanut butter on cr or crunchy peanut butter? Oh, it's you. Our paths cross once again, like snowflakes in a storm. I wonder which you prefer, smooth or crunchy? Do you know what? I actually don't know. I don't really eat too much peanut butter. But if I had to give an answer, I probably would go with smooth. I don't know, that's just my opinion. But anyway, crunchy peanut but it has a dark, serious quality. The bits of peanut are not always welcome, but I suppose that's what it means to be an adult, accepting that life itself does not always go smoothly. Hmm, does being an adult mean that I have to accept crunchy off schools without complaint? <laughs> I don't want to be an adult. Maybe I'm overreacting, so tell me, fellow wanderers, which is the right choice for me? Um, jam? No, I'm not really a jam guy, unless it's, unless it's a PB&J, which I don't really eat too often. But uh, I, I'm going to stick with smooth. Ah, oh, delicious smooth peanut butter. Yes, I shall not change. Or perhaps it is that I cannot change. I am who I am. And everything that makes me, me is me. If I change, I would I still be me? You people think... Okay, this, this lady is very, it's confusing me so much. I can't even get the words out right now. But so my torment continues. There's one more question, of course. How will things turn out between you and me? The divine star that I follow hasn't led me to a conclusion. Not yet. So until next we meet. Oh, she's just leaving like that. So she came us to just talk craziness and she confused the hell out of me. But yes, we are back into the action against some fire creatures. So uh, let's try and get some water combos in there somewhere. Uh, we'll go here. Alright, that was literally the best I had. I was running out of time there, so I had to settle for that. It was enough to take down one enemy, but uh, if you if you haven't noticed yet, when I'm making my move, keep an eye out on the left hand side of the touch screen. So you have you will, you will have a, ugh, you will have a little timer bar which is um, decreasing, and when it does reach the bottom, that is your co your combo over and done with. So you got to be quick. We just keep it simple for that move, and then uh, okay, that was enough. I was actually going to go for a little healing with the pink orbs, but uh, no need for that. We're full on health. We're level ten and nine. We have our helper which we, which we haven't used yet, and I actually may just unleash it right now. Actually, do you know what, there's actually not too much point of doing that. Uh, we're going to go for... Okay, there's some serious combos on right now. Um, I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> so with the pink orbs, I don't really think that was the best thing to go with, but the pink orbs don't deal damage it just recovers your health so it's not exactly what we need right now but let's see okay that was pretty cool it's definitely one of my favorite things though you can just like drag your orbs all over the map it definitely does have a unique feel to this puzzler I mean a puzzle most puzzle games are the same but this is definitely like one of my becoming one of my favorite ones so far. And yes, I thought this was the wise thing to do. Save our skill move for this. We have our brand new Mega Evolved. I was about to call it a Pokemon, but we'll call them. Wait, what are these Dragon Tamers? Yeah, they're Dragon Tamers. And uh, our Zablion here, we can use the skill move. His ability is it raises the attack of your water monsters slightly for one turn. All right, so that's our skill move here. So we, we're gonna have to match our blue orbs here. I, mean, I can only see like one decent match which is this line of four so I guess we'll go with that and then we'll try and yeah we'll go with that and then we'll drag this one all the way around 
to here. So because our attack is raised, it should at least hopefully kill at least two of them. This is the boss battle and it has killed all three, so that went a lot better than I expected. We've also got a mystery egg here, which we can go and hatch for a new monster. Yes, and we've got quite a few monsters now. I don't even know who's best or what, but I guess we have to figure it out for ourselves. It's all about practice, guys, and practice does make perfect. We have the flamey chip, the bubbly chip, and our new mystery egg. Alright, sweet. So I think that's that dungeon done and dusted. When you come against the boss, that pretty much means it's over. But yes, we have the hollowed hollow. So I guess we'll dive into this one and see how it goes. Yeah, this is the part which confused me. Where are my other monsters? Oh! I actually selected this team. This is the team I want to go Oh, my bad. Alright, I apologise for that, guys. I, that's kind of frustrating because now we actually missed out on levelling up some of our monsters. But I guess you can do a bit of grind in this game if you please to. I think you can actually go back and play the same levels you have done so already. But yeah, this 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 map does look kind of tricky. So um, yeah, more fire beasts. Let's see what we can do here. We're gonna go for a simple move. Uh, we're gonna drop down for the grass combo here on the right hand side. And then it will also drop down for a line of four with the water orbs. And then we'll carry this fire one over to here. Okay, that's a pretty sweet combo. It didn't even turn out exactly as I planned, but it actually worked out a lot better. A 10 hit combo, which is the biggest combo I've actually made so far. And that's definitely going to be enough to wipe all three of these enemies out. But trust me guys, this, this game does get very intense and very difficult. If you do want to test this game out, there is a free demo on the eShop. And it's got like an advanced mode in the Super Mario Bros mode, and it's so difficult to, to just like get to the end of it. It's, it, it plays the same as this one here. And with a few little twists like with Mario, Mario characters and stuff like that. But trust me guys, it's super difficult but you have a lot of fun, trust me. And uh, I actually wonder what happens if you match two of these green orbs in the same row. That's going to be pretty inter interesting to find out, so... I'm going to give this a go. Just to see what happens. We match one flame one there as well, just in case. But yeah, then again... The green element is weak to the fire one, but because it's a Z orb, it's definitely going to deliver a lot more power. And it delivered enough power to take him down, so we're on to the treasure chest. Alright, the Melagon chip. Alright, so this is like a little mini stage kind of thing. Clear combos, eight or more, so we have three turns to make eight combos. Alright, um, let's see. Oh god, I only counted as one, my bad. Uh, not a good start at all. Um, we want to drag this one to here. Alright, four more to go. That's kind of a big ask right now. Uh, all because of that bad start. Um, what can we actually do here? Okay, this is actually a free combo. I'm not sure how it's going to play out, but it's definitely going to be free. Oh my god, it was free. It wasn't enough. Dang! So if he actually passed that, it would just like reward us, reward us with a bonus item. Um, so far, the items we've been given haven't really been game-changing, so I'm not really too bothered about that at the moment. But hey, maybe our luck has ran out. Anyway, a uh, line of four. Nice. Now we're cruising today, aren't we? Other than that treasure chest, we're doing pretty well. It's been smooth sailing so far. Okay, another burst battle, which may be... Oh no, it's a Paradox Trooper. Ha! I'll show you my awesome orb skills. Oh wow, seriously? Oh wow, this thing's got a huge health bar. This thing is huge itself, and it's going to attack us in three turns. And the problem is I have no idea what kind of element he is, so I'm kind of worried about what to do now. We're going to go with a special attack. Um, we're going to go Flame Breath, Guard Break. Uh, we'll go with Heat Up, which is our helper skill. Uh, raise the attack of your Fire Monster slightly for three turns. Okay, scrap that. We're going to go Flame Breath here. It does three times fire damage to all foes, but then again, this could actually be a Fire Monster, because it's kind of like a Fire Zone right now, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, not the worst. At least we... At least it doesn't count as a move, we can still actually make our uh, combo right now, so we'll go for a nice little combo there and when you drag this one round for a little combo with the fire as well. 
Okay, that turned out really sweet. Is that going to be enough? We actually don't know because this is the first time we've came up against anything this huge and it is enough, thank god. Do you know what? I don't even think we needed, needed to use that skill move, but I thought we may as well. Actually, it was only a health move, so it actually doesn't count towards our skill. But that battle made me dizzy. Alright, thanks for the battle, Paradox. It's got some nice variety in there. And this... Wait, is this the boss battle or is this... Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that was super sweet. I had to be quick there, but that actually worked out really nicely. We've got a line of five with the water orbs, a seven, eight hit combo. And that's got to be enough to take all four down. I really hope so. Yes! Oh my god, that was so sweet. This game is so satisfying, just like little combos you pull off like that. It is so satisfying. Like, at first, I could never make any of these kind of combos, but like an hour in now, I'm, I'm kind of finding my rhythm, guys. And we are at the boss battle. Paradox Officer... Oh, it's one of you meddling rangers. Jillens and... Oh, shoot. Wait, my bad, guys. Almost knocked over a glass of water. That could have been disastrous. But yes, as I was saying, Jillens' enemy is my enemy. Prepare yourself for battle. Go forth, my monsters. Defeat these weaklings in Jillens' name. Yeah, the reason why I got a, a glass of water here is because there's so much dialogue in this game. Sometimes I just get a dry throat after everything. But uh, so far, so good. Um, Let's see. Oh yes, we got a blue orb here, we need to make the most of this. And we just go with this. It kind of sets up, it kind of sets us up for our next move. Because it's a blue orb, it should yes, it was strong enough to take it down, at least two of them. We do have to suffer a bit of damage there, but it shouldn't be enough to um put us off our game. We will recover a slight amount of that health here. Actually, it's not even necessary. Um let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, guys, uh, apologies for this. Um, Alright, so we recovered a bit of health there, and we also dealt some water damage. So he's going to attack in one, so I guess we're pretty much safe and sound to wrap this up. So we just go with a basic combo such as that, and hopefully that's going to be enough. And yes, it is. Another mystery egg. Oh shoot. This one does look quite interesting. It's a different colour, so maybe it's a different element elemental monster. Who knows? But we should actually be done in this like whole um wood of echoes, whatever it was called. And it probably will take us back to HQ. So too strong, I failed you, Jillen. Alright, they didn't talk much after battles, do they? Okay, and we've almost made it to the final stage of this area. It does look, it looks quite mysterious this next one. It looks like it's going to be like a mini boss battle area and then it's going to lead us to the main boss battle area. But anyway, you've returned safely, monkey. But please remember that you're a new dragon tamer. Don't buy off more than you can chew. I want to ask you something crucial. Are you making the most of helpers? Um, to be honest, not exactly. That concerns me. All of us dragon tamers rely on helpers. There's no shame in it. Would you like a reminder of what helpers are, monkey? Do you know what? Just give us the insight, please. Alright then, as long as you feel adequately informed, there are no downsides to using helpers, so be sure to use the helper system till its fullest. Who knows, perhaps I'll be a helper for you out there at some point, if I ever have time, of course. Now, only one more dungeon stands between you and the Temple of Woods. The Mines, the Kunlin Mines. If you, if you survive the Mines, then you will face a dire challenge at the Temple Beyond. There you must restore the power of one of the, of the five Sky Dragons, and restore balance to our world. If you cannot, our world will be utterly destroyed, but first things first, get through the Kunlin Mines. No problemo. Let's go, let's go, let's go to this Kunlin Mines place, monkey. Alright, maybe we should visit the lab first to hatch or evolve monsters. What do you reckon? Yes, yeah, so we actually did just find a few eggs, so I guess we better find out what we have in store, in store for ourselves. So we actually may be able to evolve our fire monster. Okay, we just went to the wrong entrance here. Actually, do you know what? This could be pre... Oh, no, this is actually just... Oh, yeah, we actually went there a few episodes back. We don't really need to go back here. I mean, we may we may have to eventually, but I don't think we have to right now. So, um, we'll go and hatch some eggs. And see if we can evolve anything else. 
Yes, please. Oh, God, we've got quite a few eggs here. All right, we'll start with this one. It's actually what I love about this game, though. It's got, like, so many sim... Okay, we actually just fought this thing. This is pretty cool to have him. Yeah, it's got, like, so many similarities when you compare it to Pokemon. And even the Persona games, it allows you to fuse different monsters, which I don't think we've been introduced to yet. And then you've got, like, the eggs, which you can hatch for new monsters, like you see in Pokemon games. But there's, like, so much to learn about these monsters. It's a nice variety here. We have the Karuru, which looks really awesome, by the way. And last but not least, we have... I think these are all fire monsters, by the way. And last but not least, we have a, some sort of scorpion kind of thing. The, the Kios. I know, some weird names here. But anyway, that is that for that. And last but not least, we're going to wrap things up by seeing if we can evolve any of our monsters. And I think we can evolve just the one, which is the one I was waiting for. Our fire monster, we've got the flame chip, the melagon chip, and another melagon chip. And here we go. Alright, sweet. This, this thing's gonna look so awesome. Oh, that's actually what it looks like in the puzzle. Okay, this thing definitely does look awesome. Alright, a rare monster. Your melagon evolved into... Melagos. Melagos? Mel Mel I don't know guys, sorry. I'm having trouble pronouncing some of these names, but yes, we have evolved our beast for the third time in this episode, and that's going to be all for now guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you do want to see more of this version or the Super Mario Bros version, then just let me know down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, please show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up button, it really does help, and I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya!